Hello everyone, this is Kelly with a tiny bit of this. Today I'm going to share with you how I create a shadow effect around a word or a name to put on a t-shirt with vinyl or to cut out a shadow for behind a word for on a card or whatever you want to make a shadow effect for. Today I'm only going to show you how to use words or letters so to speak. So if you want a name or a word. We're going to be using our iPad today. I wanted to try to find some programs that I could work with using my iPad so I can show you how to use Design Space. Uh, being able to upload some things that you could do with the computer but can't necessarily do with the iPad unless you have a third party app. So I went into my app store and I downloaded a program that is free and it is called Phonto, P-H-O-N-T-O. I uploaded it, it is free, like I said before, so it doesn't cost you anything. However, I don't know all of the ins and the outs of this program. I only know how to do this one type of task. So until I actually learn more about the program, this is the only thing I'm going to show you how to do. So you start out with this grid background if you tap anywhere into the grid background, you're going to get some options. So your options are take a photo, photo uh, upload something from your photo album, plain image, or restore previous state. Okay, we are just going to go to plain image. And here we get a, cho a choice of a ton of different templates but we really don't need a template because we're just going to use a word and not a photo with a bat and that needs a background. So we're just going to hit white. Okay, so there's our template. Now we want to be able to use this template and write on it. So we're going to go to this little box up here. It's a square box with the arrow. You're going to tap that on and it's going to give us some options. One option is use, save, use and save, or cancel. Well, we want to use it, so we're going to hit use. And there is our white template that we chose. Now we want to write a word on that template. So we're just going to tap anywhere here, and it's going to give us the option to add text. Now here's where we would go to our fonts and choose a font. Now the fonts that will come up here will only be the fonts that are actually in your iPad. So they're on your iPad. These are fonts that I have uploaded into my iPad. I have a ton. Um, you can choose the ones that the iPad comes with or choose ones that you uploaded into the program. And I can show you how to do that at another video, but for today, we're just going to use this program to show you this particular option. So now we're going to write a name or a word or something like that. So let's write um, A-W-E-S-O-M-E, -E. awesome, okay? So it gives you the font that you chose. If you change your mind, you can go to font and change it from here. You can add a symbol, which, you know, all these symbols are added here. Um, there is an option to align from the left to the center to the right. I'm not sure what that means, but for right now, we're just going to leave it in the center. And then we're gonna hit the word done. As you can see, here is my word, and I can put it anywhere on my mat. Um, you can size it, but it really isn't necessarily necessary to size it at this point. You could do that when you're in design space. So we're just gonna leave it like that. You could tilt the word, you can move the word around. You could change the font, and you could change what you actually wrote by any of these right here. But we're gonna go to style. And as you can see, you have color and then you have style. Gives you different options of shadows, but we're just gonna to go to color, text, stroke, background. 
So with the text, we're going to leave the text white. The stroke, we're going to change to a darker color so we can see what we're doing. There we go, see the black. Now we're going to go down here to the word with. See this little toggle? And if you look up at the word, as I use this toggle, and I go up, it makes the shadow around the word bigger or smaller. So... It depends on how much you want to see. I think I'm going to go with that. Then we're going to hit the word done. Uh, let's go back. I want to go make it a little bit bigger. Maybe I can't. I can't make it bigger, so let's make it. Oh, sorry. I was on text. Back to stroke. I'm on the wrong one. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Uh, I would prefer not to have that dot, but you know what? That's okay, because I can leave that in there. Leave those dots in when I get to design space. Okay, so that is what I'll, all I want to do. I just want to give my word a shadow. So now we're going to go to this little square down here on the right hand side with the arrow and click on that. And now here's where it's going to ask you where do you want to save your image. I'm just going to save the image just like I would save any other image on my iPad. Just hit save image. Once it has saved you just hit OK. An ad's going to come up. All free programs always have those ads because that's how they get their money. So we're just going to click out of it. Now we're going to bring up our Cricut Design Space and hit New Project. Now we're going to go to Upload Image just like we would with any other image that we want to put into Cricut Design Space and collect, uh, select from our photo library. And then if we go into my photos you will see there's my word awesome. And it's going to bring it up to this part of the cleanup. Now, if you're not familiar, if you were to just leave it just like this and go to the next, what it's going to cut out is this square. So anything you see in this square is what the design, what is your ugh, Cricut Design Space will send to your Cricut to do. So we want to clean this up a little bit. In order to actually see the words, you have to get take away everything that is around the word. The easiest way to do that is to hit this remove button down here and click anywhere you want to remove. Okay, So we've got everything from the outside. Now we want to remove from the inside of the word. You could scroll in by pinching. Right? Now we're going to tap on everywhere there is white. Now here's where I said I was going to leave that little white line there alone. So if I don't tap that open, it will be all black. I'm going to tap over here. Okay, I'm going to move this over. That all looks good. We're going to leave that little line, that little white line, so it stays all black. And then we're going to tap out this piece here. Okay. So I think that's it. I'm going to go to the word next up here. And if I move my little box out of the way, that gives me a little bit of a better view of what we're going to see cut out. And that looks good to me. We're going to hit next. Now we need to save this image to our design space. So you have two ways of saving your image. You can do cut image or print and cut image. Here we want to be able to cut in layers. So I'm going to show you how to, you're going to make those layers. And here's where you would actually have it sent to your printer. It will print just like that. Then it will go through the Cricut machine and cut around the edges only. But we want a cut image so we can play with it. And then we want to name it. Awesome. And then save it.
here's where all my uploaded image images live so we want to take that awesome and we want to insert it onto our canvas okay so here's our word we want to go to our actions button and we want to duplicate it so we need two sets of these or two of them okay so we can see what we're doing we're going to change the color of one of them in order to change the color you want to highlight it go to the layers panel you'll see that that one that you highlighted is gray tap the arrow button open over and then you can change it to whatever color you want to change this word to change it to a bright pink so now we want to get rid of the layers panel by tapping the layers image down here and it will go away okay so this one we're going to keep pink and this one we can leave black or we could change that color as well so say we want our shadow to be we want our shadow to be white we could change it to white but in order to see better I'm gonna leave it black so we want to take either one you could start with let's start with our inside so we want this these letters to actually be the pink so we're going to stay on the action panel click on your word that you want to change go over to the hide contour high contour what this does is it contours out any part of the image that you don't want cut out however if they're attached if this line is attached all the way around it's going to delete the whole entire line so you can't just tap off around the A and not anywhere else because if it's drawn all together it's going to delete all together so we want to be able to see just the word not the background so we're going to actually just remove the first line here and as you can see it removed everything around the word but we want to delete some of these other things so it actually looks like a word and not that piece and that piece right in there so we're going to go back to high contour we're going to tap out that piece and remove that and we're going to tap out the center of the O of the squirrel not a no it's a squirrel all right so that's our word now with this one we don't want the word in it we want just the background so we're going to tap that on and we're going to go to high contour and we're going to do the opposite way so now we're going to literally remove everything on the inside. So we want to tap on the A and this part of the A, right? Uh, that part of the A, the W. And I think I would like it to be a solid background, so I'm going to just tap all these little insides away, too. And I think I'm going to leave that squiggly in there. Okay, so we have this squiggle left and that squiggle left inside. So now let's move our awesome up. And there you have your background, which is what we call a shadow. So it's giving the word awesome a shadow effect around the word now I could fill those in so if you want it to fill in that spot and that spot just tap it over again go back to your high contour delete that line and delete that line if you like that better uh, and then move up and you could do it that way so it's just a program you can play around with your words you can make it really small you can as you can see I think this was the biggest outline you could do but you could make it smaller so if you wanted to do this in vinyl you can have two layers have this layer and then cut this layer and iron on top of it if you were doing paper or cardstock or anything like that you could just cut out in two different colors now say you want to um, not layer, say this was a vinyl 
cut out. I personally would slice this word out of the background so then that way it's one layer kind of. So I would just go to here, highlight both of them, go to slice, pull that out. This side would be delete it. Then when you iron this down, this one can go right into the hole and be ironed down secondly or second. And then it it's not so many layers on the shirt. Okay. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. If there's something else you would like me to try to work with and show you how to do in your Cricut Design Space on the iPad or on the computer, write that down in the comments and I'll try to work on a video for you. Please subscribe to my channel so you can get notified. Hit the bell so you can get notified for whenever I upload a new video. And share this video with all your friends. Thank you very much and have a great day.